Topzine.com. Thanks for joining me for another video beer review. This time we are looking at another can from Six Point Craft Ales in Brooklyn, New York. Once again, this was kindly donated to me by Simon, the real ale guy. Check him out if you're watching this. You've obviously seen Simon. He's the king of the UK beer vloggers. <laughs> and it is a 5.4%, no, sorry, 5.2%. Uh, and essentially a cream ale. A reading up on the BJCP, you know, definitions of cream ales, it's not something you get in the UK, uh, but it, they, they do kind of compare it to a American light, light lager. And I guess it was the kind of uh, response of uh, kind of real breweries to the kind of the uh, popularity of American light lagers. It's, so it's made of the same characteristics, maybe a touch of DMS in there, maybe kind of, uh, but very light, refreshing. Um, essentially kind of a lag with a bit more character and as it's six points it's probably got a lot more hop character as well um, so yes a lovely can once again beautiful presentation from six point let's get this in the glass I love the size of the cans as well brilliant beats the pants off those little stubby cans that most craft brewers use you can get a full glass out of this probably not much darker than I kind of expected I'm going to pour all of it in Beer in the glass, nice kind of slightly hazy orange, really, pretty much like bang on orange, really. Uh, slightly darker, maybe, you know, hint of chestnut to it. Lots of carbonation in there, you can see it on the glass. And the head, slightly off white, kind of pale beige, egg coloured, eggshell coloured head. Quite tight, foamy. So let's have a sniff. Mmm, how interesting. It does have a, a creamy edge, it's like that soft pale malt character. And I, uh, it is more of a kind of like a straightforward, I'd, I'd imagine this is what American Two Row Malt kind of gives you, and kind of lager malt, opposed to something like the um, Marisota in the UK, which definitely imparts a bit of kind of toffee, kind of bready quality. There's definitely a nice edge of apricots. Yeah, there's a certain kind of kind of citrus sorbet quality to it. Yeah, there's a condensed milk, orange, grapefruit, maybe slightly old mango, but it's that, those citrus uh, aromas are quite faint. It smells really interesting, it smells like very much like anything I've ever had. You can kind of see those comparisons to a, a, a good quality American light lager. Anyway, let's dig in. Cheers. Mmm, interesting. It's got, a, it's got a wheaty quality, it's got a kind of breakfast cereal kind of element to it. Yeah, I'm getting kind of white bread, like freshly baked white bread in the nose as well. Fascinating. There's a soft caramel edge to it. There's a weird, slightly smoky element in there, which I wasn't expecting. Yeah, maybe a mild gingerbread. And at the back end, I'm getting a nice amount of um, maybe kind of tangerine, slight kind of fudge. Yeah, and a nice spike of bitterness, which kind of comes, it comes, disappears, appears, disappears, appears, disappears. Aftertaste, nice and wet, nice and thirst quenching. That's what I was hoping on that this beer would be. As it's a bit, it's still a very hot day. We hit a bit of a um, heat spell, <laughs> heat wave in the UK at the moment. So that is lovely. You can personally, I can find similarities to. Obviously to American light lager, but also to a lot of English, traditional English pale ales and also a certain element of maybe a light, um, a more pale British bitter or like an amber ale. There's certain qualities that remind me of an English style of beer 
kind of cross between an American with that and an American light lager. It's very nice, very easy drinking on the days like today. I'm sure this has got a massive following with the US because you can just take it out wherever you go because it's in a can, it's refreshing. It's the kind of thing you'd want to drink on a, on a summer's day or out of the park or at a concert or, or whatever. It's a lovely beer, not as exciting as um, the uh, crisp. It's a bit more subdued, um, doesn't have as much of hot characters experienced in uh, the kind of the crisp which was a lovely quite authentic pilsner uh, my, for my um, from my opinion it's, it's very solid there's nothing wrong with it at all if a little bit straightforward I'm sure it's got this is the kind of beer that could um, appeal to a quite a traditional macro lager drinker but has got bags more quality than the rubbish that most macro uh, beer producers um, I'm not even going to call them brewers because most of the time they're just like you could be making craft cheese slices you could be making you know, that fake weird bread it could be anything in the world it's just a food production it's not brewing but this is definitely brewing and it's taking a light lager element and flavour and kind of the tolerance that a casual drinker has for a beer and uh, appealing to that market solid if a little bit underwhelming for someone like myself who kind of drinks stupidly strong beer <laughs> ones with quite big aggressive flavours anyway less waffles so that is a can of sweet action from six by craft ales in brooklyn 5.2 percent abv 34 ibus i mean it does the job very nice anyway i'm rob from popzine.com i'll see you next time cheers